Welcome back, everybody. You know, when I came to work today, it, it was kind of gloomy and there were some thunderstorms around and so on, but I brought my bow tie and I believe later on tonight I'm going to put that on because that usually is an indication that the weather's going to turn out to be pretty nice. So don't be surprised if I'm wearing a different tie uh, when we get together tonight because look, see, here's a, the Storm Team 10 storm tracker. The rain has uh, moved out of the area. We still have a flash flood warning in effect until 7 o'clock for this little part of Greene County and then into Martin County. What a storm that was down there, producing some very, very heavy amounts of rain. But that has moved on as well. Now the big storms and the heavier rain you know, farther to the south, even south of French Lick, but down here across the Ohio River. And it's neat because you can see actually where this front has moved through and some clearing going on back here behind it. And so later on tonight, we might even get a little bit of a clearing going on, a little bit of partly cloudy sky. Well, today the uh, pollen count was in the moderate category. Same thing for tomorrow. But as we dry out and uh, the uh, humidity drops a little bit, we're going to probably increase our um, categories into the upper moderate category for pollens and those kinds of things. So it's 85 degrees right now after a high today of 87, 85 in Paris, Rockville 85, 85 in uh, Indianapolis, and uh, still 87 in Casey, Mattoon 85 and 87 in Effingham. But look, see some clearing going on over here to the west. As the sun sets tonight, you may actually be able to observe some of that clearing. Still muggy though. The heat index is at 93 right now, 104 in Rockville. That may be a little high. Paris 90, Mattoon 90, Effingham 94, and Olney 99. So there's still a lot of mugginess in the air because the uh, dew points are still up into the mid and upper 70s, 77 in Vincennes, 78 in Robinson. Let's look at the Storm Team 10 future cast. Of course, we go through the nighttime hours tonight, some clearing. Maybe a little fog developing, especially where you had some rain. We got 17 hundredths of an inch of rain earlier today, this morning, here at the television station. This is noon tomorrow. Meteorologist Lindsay Monroe will have the great pleasure of bringing you a very nice forecast. And she'll also rerun this. And I'll redo this tonight as well, because right now Futurecast wants to bring a little splatter of rain in here on uh, Friday evening. I think that's a little aggressive. I'm not sure I agree with that. Storm, you know, computers are not always what I rely on. So storms ending, cooler, less humid, 63 for the overnight low. Plenty of sun, rather pleasant tomorrow. High tomorrow of 87, just a little bit below average. Uh, mostly clear, a bright moon tomorrow night, 63 for the overnight low. And uh, looking good as we get into Friday, a high of 88. That's average for this time of year. Can't complain if you have an average temperature in uh, July. And it won't be as humid. Saturday, 85, slight chance of rain on Sunday and Monday, but the temperatures stay pretty much uh, in control 